Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese, and we're going dimensional today with picture frames. If you look at the table, you can see that I've got three picture frames, and I've assembled them so that they've made this dimensional display. And in one section, I have a 4 by 6 photo. If I turn it, you can see I have the smaller sort of selfie size photo and then another 4 by 6 photo. The beauty of this die is it gives you those slits so you can pick whichever you want. Looking here, you can see I've got a 4 by 6 photo and I've just used white paper to make a background. And here I've created polka dots to sort of cover over those the slits for the outside because in this example, I'm using the smaller selfie size or that insta, instant camera size photo. What we're going to do is cut them out. You can see I've cut three of them. Here is one, and when I hold it up, maybe it's easier for you to look really closely and see the outside ones are the slits for the 4x6 photo, and the inside ones are the slits for that smaller selfie size. So I have one of my 4x6 photos of one of my niece's little girls, and I'm going to go ahead, place the photo into the slits, and then when you have it evenly spaced, you can see I've already gone ahead and I've done another photo of her in the smaller selfie size and then I used the larger size for the final one because you need three in order to create this. At this point, I'm going to turn them over and I've already marked on the back with a pencil the middle because what I want to do, if you look here, you can see that pencil line. I'm going to put adhesive right down the middle because in order for these to connect, and then in order for them to stay closed, I need to attach a ribbon that eventually I can tie into a bow. So I have a length of ribbon. I'm going to leave plenty at the end for tying the, the knot or the ribbon. I mean, excuse me, or the bow. And I can just place this right on the pencil line and press down. And then I want a little gap so that it can fold, but not a very, you know, doesn't need to be big. Just a slight gap. And then I'll continue once again, just using that pencil line as my guide and pressing, and then do the same thing with the last one. Now, if I pick it up, that ribbon is so narrow, it's like a 16th or an 8th inch, it's going to want to kind of move and wobble all over the place. It needs something to strengthen it. So I'm going to take the same paper that I used for the frame, and I'm going to use it to support this. So. I didn't have any of the paper that was the length of all three together, so I have one that I'm going to place right over one of the frames, and then I have, this will cover about two and an eighth of the next frame. So once again, I'm putting adhesive all down the length of this, and I want to line this up with this one. So let me start at this end and just overlap. So when you have all three of them in, I mean the whole strip in position, straighten it, push on it, make it really stick. You can see that I have probably longer ribbon than I need on this and let's get rid of some of this. Now when I pull it up, I have some support. So I'm gonna be able to go back and fold on these lines. So let me lay this down and reinforce with a fold and curl this over and reinforce the fold line there. And when I bring it up and take the ribbon, I'm going to turn it towards me for just a minute so that I can see how to tie this bow. You can see it goes together really quickly. If you have something coming up like open house and you want to be able to label the student's desk so the parents know where everybody sits, this is perfect. You know, who knew that it would be so easy to connect three frames together to create a dimensional display?